Hi guys and gals, it's John from AFK Books and Records in beautiful, very busy Virginia Beach, Virginia. We're getting ready for Record Store Day, Saturday, April 20th. That's coming up so, so soon. fast. So soon. Just days away, we're unpacking all kinds of boxes. Yep. We'll be showing you a new video with all that first come, first serve goodness very soon. Um, not all of it, the last batch. You can already see what we've already received if you just flip back through the social media feed, or you can hit our homepage on uh, afkbooksandrecords.com, or you can go to YouTube so many cool ways to see everything that's coming out. Uh, this week, we've got a short but powerful stack of new releases to show you. Kicking it off with this one right here, Mr. Noah Khan will all be here forever. Over the past year, Grammy Best New Artist nominated Vermont singer and songwriter Noah Khan has exploded from his New England roots into the global mainstream. This is really true, y'all, and has been touted as one of the year's biggest and best new artists. The global sensation is back with this expanded version. The extended 3LP set showcases seven additional tracks from Khan's Platinum Certified album, as well as his double album, double Platinum Certified, and first career top 10 hit Stick Season, and Platinum Certified top 40 hit Dial Drunk on indie exclusive Bone White, right Just here, or Black Ice while supplies last. Pricey, but oh so worth it. We also got the, the deluxe CD as well. Next up, we've got Maggie Rogers, Don't Forget Me. The latest from the Easter Shore, Eastern Shore singer-songwriter who caught her big break in NYC after playing a song for Virginia Beach's own Pharrell Williams. This is her third full length. We've got Dogwood and Milk Collar variants for you. Nice. The indie exclusive is the Dogwood Green. Yeah. Really pretty color. All right, here we go. We got the Eagles to the limit, taking it to the limit. The Essential Collection, Essential Hits, Album Cuts, Live Performances, 680 GLPs. We got some examples of some hit songs. We'll just read you this because it doesn't really need any other explanation. Take It Easy, Witchy Woman, Desperado, Tequila Sunrise, Best of My Love, Lion Eyes, Some Hotel Song, uh, Fast Lane, New Kid, Victim of Love, Heartache, Long Run, How Long, Seven Bridges, To the Limit, In the City, Peaceful Easy, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of These Nights, and a gazillion others. It also comes with a bonus okay. coaster set and a litho oh, cool. while supplies last. Yeah. Also bougie, so cool, produced by none other than Don Henley. Wow. All right. Next up is KRS-One, Return of the Boom Bop. Get on down with the 30th anniversary limited edition of one of the all-time classic debut hip-hop jams on blue and orange swirl color vinyl. Such a fantastic record. Uh, next up, we got Witch, Lukumbo Vibes, an archival reissue of the 1976 Afro-Psych Zamrock masterpiece. Mojo Mag gushed, electrified by a diet of James Brown, The Stones, and Deep Purple, which were the stadium-filling kings of 70s Zamrock. Unlimited age copper green, Witch. Next up, we've got Paper Cuts. This career-spanning 20-track album compiles of 18 essential anthems, plus the never-before-released track Friendly Fire, recorded during the 2017 sessions for their seventh album, One More Light, and the fan-favorite rarity, QWERTY. On limited clear with black and red splatter, whilst supplies lasteth. All right, next up is Mark Knopfler, One Deep River. And one pricey album, I might add. Uh, the Guitar Master's 10th solo studio album and his first in over six years. You get what you pay for it, and with Mark, you know that's going to be high quality and songs that will stay with you for a lifetime. It's going to be followed next week with a standalone EP for Record Store Day called The Boy, which contains four exclusive songs around a common theme of fairgrounds and boxing. This one is pressed on blue 180 gram vinyl. An album about Evan. Oh, no way. <laughs> next is Shabaka, Perceive Its Beauty, Acknowledge Its Grace. The solo debut from the artist typically found powering the likes of Sons of Comet, The Comet is Coming, and Shabaka and the Ancestors. Pitchfork says, channeling new age and spiritual jazz, the multidisciplinary artist's debut solo album creates its own thoughtful and potent world with the help of many guests and many flutes. Moses Sumney and Andre 3000 collabs, y'all. Nice. Next up, Girl in Red, I'm Doing It Again, Baby, the eagerly anticipated sophomore album from the Norwegian-born and Oslo-based singer-songwriter. This 10-song album chronicles the artist's last two and a half years with honesty and wit and willingness to play around with her music. It includes a collab with Sabrina Carpenter and comes in a nice gatefold jacket. It's Girl in Red. Next is Against Me, Transgender Dysphoria Blues, the 10th anniversary of the classic, which chronicled dysphoria following Laura Jane Grace's gender transition and coming out. It was on almost all the top 50 lists of 2014 and was the punk band's highest debut. So many great tracks on this, pressed on limited blue. 
Next up, we got Nets up on Gravity Hill. I'm a loser, baby, on Clear with Red. The new album by the Toronto Power Trio creates a kaleidoscope sonic world as tender as it is dark. It contains some of the most spacious, sympathetic, and accessible songs. Dare we call them pop songs? If this seems contradictory, well, Met says we've never been heavy enough for metal or hardcore purists, but we're way too heavy for indie rock. We just don't have a lane, and that's okay. We exist outside the lanes of delineation. I think this record is even more like that. Off-road, baby. Met, good stuff. Next up is Willie Cologne and Hector Laveau, La Grande Fuga. Armed with trombone and considered dangerous, these men are wanted by the dancing public. Yet another Fania Latin masterpiece cut by Kevin Gray at Coherent and pressed on 180 gram and includes a poster. Nice. Next up, Beyonce, Cowboy Carter Act 2. Unlimited edition 180G vinyl or CD. In addition to bursting through several genre barriers and riding in on the wave of, dare we say, much needed and often ridiculous discussion regarding genre inclusivity and what it means to be a country purist, in quotes, she absolutely kills on McCartney's Blackbird and Parton's Jolene, as well as a host of other original compositions. Uh, we're listening to Blackbird right now in honor of Des. It's her favorite song of all time. We miss you, Des. Uh, <laughs> as an indie retail advocate for genre barrier busting, we'd like to gently remind Bay that we stand with her and hope she'll stand with us again in the future. Woo. Next up is James. Yummy. The 18th studio album from the Manchester band formed way back in 82. It's pressed on 180 gram indie exclusive red vinyl. Butterfly popsicle. Yummy. Mm. Mm, tasty. Mm. Yummy and tasty. All the good stuff. Harold Land the Fox, the 1960 album produced by the great and off sampled David Axelrod with analog lacquers cut by Grunman and pressed on 180G at QRP. Oh, we also have the Beyonce CD with two different, two different flavors of the cover. Options for you. Very cool. All right. All right. Next up, we've got 80s. Not okay. We've got three flavors of the three flavors of the song Not Okay by the popular K pop band ATs, all in bougie packaging. So many flavors. All the flavors. Uh, Wendy, Wish You Hell, the South Korean popster's second extended play with six tracks packed up right in a thick booklet. Uh, I'm going to read a little poetry from the back. A bit broken, a little weary, but this comfortable feeling is better for me. Amen, sister. Amen, sister. Amen, sister. Said like Gene Belcher. <laughs> Nathaniel Rateliff in the Night Sweats, tearing at the seams. A limited edition repress of the band's 2018 sophomore album, pressed on 2LP 180-gram bone color vinyl. Next up, we got Mr. John Lodge, Days of Future Past, My Sojourn. The Moody Blues alum recorded this album last year, it sprung from his current live show as he and his 10,000 Light Years band lovingly recreated the classic album. It also features collabs with some cool yes folks like Graham Edge and John Davison. Next up is Rockabye Baby, lullaby renditions of Outcast. When baby is partying all night long like they're at the player's ball, spin our lullaby renditions of the ever cool Outlast. With tracks so fresh and so quiet, baby will be off to dreamland in no time. You know the drill. This album is packed with beautiful instrumental lullabies that would make even a master flout this proud. On Coke bottle green with download card, children's activities, and more. Um, I guess a project could be drawing an apology card to Miss Jackson. Good, you could draw a little picture. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, I am for real. <laughs> Sunny Day Real Estate Diary, a 30th anniversary edition from the Seattle emo band. It's the first time on LP in its entirety and remastered from the OG master tapes. Features two bonus tracks on pearl wax colorway. It's real pretty. Uh, so that's what we got for you. Come on in and see us. Uh, massive restock. By the way, guys who are watching far, far away, or even locally, but ideally far, far away for this, if you see anything in our restock flip through, not the used stuff, but the new stuff, and you want to buy it, um, just message us on the socials um, or wherever you see this, or call us, and we'd be glad to put it online and you can buy it. $5.99 flat free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Order as much as you want. Uh, pretty cool. You can do that at afkbooksandrecords.com. And also, all of this stuff that we just showed you right now is available while supplies last on afkbooksandrecords.com. So you can secure it for in-store pickup here, or we can ship it to you for $5.99 as much, much as you want. So I think that's it. Um, we're looking forward to seeing you guys next week. We're looking forward to seeing Woo! so many of you this week for Noah Khan. We have a ton of pre-orders for that. Yep. And uh, we're super excited. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.